Hey guys, so today I am digging a little trench around my arborvitaes, just digging the grass away. They have grown just a little bit. And so I just need to dig around the grass. My trees grow so much better if I um, keep the ground cleaned up so the drip line is cleared and the ground is breakable and then I can sprinkle like some fertilizer underneath and so I just went ahead and just took my shovel and dug around it and then I'm taking my little shovel here and just picking up the grass like that and throwing it in a bucket and I'll put that in my compost somewhere around my yard. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up. So that's a ton better. I'm sorry I didn't catch the um, before, but it's so much better on the tree and the fertilizer is able to get to the tree so much better. I kind of did the same thing over here. I need to cut out just a little bit more right there. And I started over here. This is what the side yard looks like as of now. It's almost the end of April. And then here's part of the backyard. I have been transplanting mums all over the place. Here's an example of a mum. I transplanted. Right now is a super great time to do that. Um, there's just some maintenance that I need to do. I need to cut these grass lines a little sharper. Eventually I want to plant some tall hydrangea trees, maybe right here. Here's this grass line. These are Northern Privet privacy bushes. They literally were like this small when I got them, even maybe smaller. Got them off of Etsy. They're super inexpensive and they grow super fast. Here is a trellis that I made a few years back and I need to fix it. As you can see that top corner, um, it's just a hog, it's either cow panel or hog panel. I can't remember. And I just tied some wood to it with some t-posts and my area gets super high winds and these things have stayed perfectly so i need to fix that i need to clean up this is a oh what is that a clematis and it gets that high i need to clean that up and this one over here kind of mirrors that trellis. And then I have two over there that are kind of hard to see. They kind of blend in. Um, I need to clean those up a little bit. Not too much maintenance back here, thank goodness. Last year I did um, cut the grass around this tree and this tree did 100% better. So that's why I became a believer of um, just giving that grass some room to receive that fertilizer. Um, let's see, back here.
So back here is kind of our rock porch. It's not looking too fancy right now. Um, this will have all kinds of plants on it in the summer. Um, here are my sweet peas and volunteer sunflowers. I need to pull all of those out. Not all of them, but maybe a few and transplant them. And then another example of my sunflower stalks that I made a teepee. Just reusing what I have is kind of my art game, I guess I play in gardening. Um, so my sweet peas will trellis up there. I've got two pots of those. I bought these whiskey barrels um, a few years back from Walmart. And then I have another pot up here with sweet peas too. So here's just a quick scan of my backyard. It is a gorgeous, beautiful day. No wind as of now, um, but it is just gorgeous. It's cool, which I love because when you're moving, it is like perfect out. When you're hot, it's an energy sucker and not my favorite, but I know those days will come, but I'm trying my hardest to get uh, the hard work done, like cutting grass lines, transplanting. Then I just have to water, which I'm getting spoiled by my drip system. That's basically what I want to do is just only do plants that have a drip or plants that are drought tolerant that don't need water. So. Anyway, I'm gonna get to work on, I think these lines a little bit. See how they're just a little wavy. I don't know, I can't decide what I wanna do exactly. If I wanna do like a straight cut or if I wanna kinda do a round line, kinda like the shape of my arborvitaes. When I planted these arborvitaes, I staggered them so there's five in each set each section and i just love the way that looks um a landscape person from a nursery told me to do that not to put them like in a row it creates more privacy and it creates just interest and it also protects the arborvitae during the winter when they're closer together like that. So anyway, I'm gonna get to work. Maggie's excited to be out here with me digging. And yeah, here's the tour. You guys have a great day. All right, I am getting ready to cut these lines. I'm gonna use this shovel at first, I'm gonna kind of cut it like this and down, and then I'll clean it up with the shovel. The reason why is I don't want it to be too deep of a valley, so I can just safely go around with my mower and not have my wheel like dip down and, you know, have my mower get, <laughs> be a tiller and dig up, you know, the grass and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way down these lines. And the reason why I say that about my mower is I did these lines and they're just a little too deep. I know it's kind of hard to see and so what I plan on doing, like they're just, I can't quite, let me see here, here we go. Oh gosh, still learning my camera skills here. They're just a little too deep. 
So what I'm going to do, and this is kind of a controversial subject, but I have literally <laughs> done this all over my yard. I just take the grass that I'm cutting out and I flip it and this turns into compost. And so I haven't had any problems at all. I um, have done this all over my yard. I did that with my front rain garden. Um, this little berm, I dug that way and just flipped the grass and haven't had any grass issues of grass coming back. Maybe just a few that pull like a weed. So, um, yeah, I've got my work ahead of me. So I'm just gonna cut, cut some out, fill it up and put it over on that line and hopefully mowing will be a little bit easier. I still need to clean up that one with the straight shovel, but I'm trying to kind of mimic that first curve with this curve. It won't be perfect. Um, not everything is perfect in my landscaping by any stretch. And I'm trying to figure out if I even like that. It's almost like maybe I should just keep the curves here and do a straight oh man decisions hmm I think I'm gonna keep with the curves kind of goes along with it looks better this way let me see if I can look at it this way yeah I think I'm gonna have to go with the curves Yep, we just have to try. Everything is erasable, pretty much, in landscaping. You just kind of have to try. So I'll just kind of, maybe not make such a big curve as this one. What do you think, Mags? Okay, here we go.
perfect. <laughs> but it's getting there. Um, I plan on putting a hydrangea in front of each set of these. So, and making this more of a garden space eventually. So it doesn't have to be completely perfect. Um, this is just, I love doing landscaping this way. It's kind of um, old fashioned, uh, maybe even an English way, more than American. We like to use fabric and landscaping rock and brick and edging and I really don't mind this method. And once you keep up with it, um, turn around here, like my trees in front, I'll try to zoom in. They're just super easy. They just are trained and um, they almost just need to be weed whacked or you could get an edging machine too that would be really helpful and I actually have that on my wish list so maybe Mother's Day who knows um yeah so I feel like that one needs maybe just a tiny bit more curve but I might just keep it like that for now but it's so much better and gonna be so much easier to mow I'm gonna take this stuff and fill in some of those deep areas over there. And I should be done for the day. Okay, one more thing. Here is the flipped grass. Stay tuned, I will show you that this will truly compost. And the key is just to take the grass and flip it like that, and it will compost into the ground. Stay tuned, and I will show you that that is true. <laughs> 